What are you thinking about? Nothing. You know what I'm thinking about? When you subscribed to my channel. I didn't exactly sub to him. I was forced here when he made me click sub when we filmed the Walter Mitty sequence, but I do like his channel. Though he doesn't have hundreds of thousands or even tens of thousands of subscribers, I think he has potential. Tyler, what's wrong? Nothing. Don't be frustrated. Why shouldn't I be? You at least try. You at least understand. Understand what? That being a filmmaker is about taking risks and trying new things. Doing things outside your norm. You at least put yourself out there. Your channel should see some growth soon. What do you think will make my channel grow? I don't know. Cool, thanks. That's super helpful. Well, what's going on everyone? Thanks so much for checking out this video. I hope you enjoyed that little intro bit. Uh, my last video, I had so much fun uh, filming the Walter Mitty sequence uh, and the, the feedback was just so positive and, and it was so awesome hearing all the feedback. I decided to do another scene, uh, this one from Mr. Robot, kind of the first time. Uh, it, it's inspired by the, the, the office scene when he's, uh, when Elliot is talking to the therapist. Uh, so this is kind of inspired by that um, from the first episode of the first season. Now we didn't do like a scene for scene and, and line for line or anything, but just inspired by it. But we try to just kind of get the, um, kind of the, the main uh, angles, main cuts um, of the, the, the little dialogue scene. Uh, so the idea for me was to just uh, not only do a scene recreation, but I really wanted to challenge myself with a new lighting setup. And that's kind of the, the title of this video is, is book lighting and, uh, you know, obviously doing it on a budget because we don't have the really expensive lights, relatively speaking, and big uh, diffusion and, and, and bounce boards and uh, all that other grip equipment and stuff like that. So, um, you know, when I say budget, it's obviously relative to kind of higher per budget productions and all that kind of stuff. Um, so yeah, uh, but uh, instead of just talking about book lighting, uh, I, I did bring my pocket camera down and, and kind of use that as like a vloggy bit. So sorry for the audio, just use onboard mics on that one. So yeah, uh, the whole everything, we had four lights. We had a practical, which is the lamp. We had a kind of LED panel from like Nan, Nanguang. I, I don't know if I'm pronouncing that right, but I, I, it's like the first light that I ever bought like years ago. It's an LED panel. And then uh, the 120D Mark II from Aperture with the Light Dome Mark II. Uh, and then uh, we have the Godox SL60W as well, and then we use the Aperture Barn Doors and the Fresnel Lens on that. So we just kind of use those lights in different ways to uh, achieve uh, the looks that we did uh, in this uh, in this video. So we're just going to cut over to uh, the pocket camera footage and just talk about the the, the shots kind of in in order of uh, sequence of how we shot them. Uh, so what we did is uh, we'll start with him. We have the Aperture 120D Mark II and the Light Dome II, and that is, um, you gotta kind of forgive this because, uh, real quick, that was over here, but we started moving stuff over, and then I realized I didn't actually talk about uh, this whole setup, so uh, forgive me for that. So, uh, pretend that is right there. Um, but, we got the 120D Mark II kind of overhead, and we kind of reset this up real quick, so it's not exactly how it was, unfortunately, sorry about that. But... We have the 120D Mark II kind of basically backlighting him and we kind of move the couch off of the off the wall to kind of get that. So what what's going on is this is really trying to act like this window light here to kind of give him a hair light and a rim light and kind of put, push soft light over uh, across his legs, but really try to keep this side of his face um, pretty, pretty negative, like pretty much no light spill on there. Then we got that light over there, and that's just giving him some fill right there. And then obviously we're shooting from over here, so you can kind of get an idea roughly. We put these two chairs here, and and we had a guitar here to kind of do some framing because that shot kind of had a couple things on the edge of frame just to kind of give some depth. So that's what these are here for. For me, sitting in this chair, it's kind of doing um, it's kind of doing uh two, there's two things going on so number one this light dome mark two it's actually when it was set up properly it was actually giving me some spill over here uh to kind of act like this window light and when we shot it 
these two windows were actually giving us uh, light like that this window right here and that window was kind of giving me a key but not enough so I had the Godox SL60W with the uh, Aperture Barn doors and the Aperture Fresnel on it and I'll show you real quick so you can see here I've got the Godox 60W with the Aperture Fresnel and the barn doors and then I have a Lee Filters um, full light diffusion and that is just giving me a little bit of light spilling directly at me so this is kind of like my point of view looking at him. Okay, well back to the office right here, uh, totally spaced on uh, doing a little vloggy bit on the uh, the, the shots of, of Tyler, not me, but other Tyler. Um, and the reason being, we just kind of ran out of time uh, with him. Uh, it was kind of late in the afternoon and uh, I, I wanted to just kind of get the shots done and my wife got home from work. So I just wanted to get everything done and, and out of there. So uh, I didn't do that, but I asked my wife to just get a real quick shot so we can talk about it. And you kind of see for visual reference what we did. So uh, from the other scene, what we did is uh, same four lights, uh, but we moved the 120D Mark II over to the door window uh, just to kind of act like that's the, the, the kind of the key, main key coming from the window, which just blasted the light onto him. And then uh, the Godox SL60W, same thing, it was outside, but we did is we kind of lifted it up a little bit and then angled it down just to cre create like a soft uh, rim on his shoulders. Um, nothing crazy, really subtle. It's all soft light because um, because it's a window light and there's no sun actually coming through the window uh, in any other shot. So it wouldn't make sense to have a really hard light source. So that's what we did there. And then that LED panel, we just kind of flipped and turned straight up into the ceiling and just kind of blasted into the ceiling just to have a little bit of an exposure lift uh, of the overall scene. Uh, and that's pretty much it. Um, we didn't do any kind of negative fill or anything. And you can see there's like a kicker still on the side of Tyler's face. But again, that's motivated from that practical, that uh, lamp that was in the scene beforehand. Uh, so I, I wanted to just kind of keep that in there just to kind of add like a little bit of kicker, a little bit of like texture and, and, and dimension to his face. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much that scene, uh, that shot in a nutshell. Um, nothing really more to that. We just, you know, again, try to mimic really soft light. That's pretty much it. So moving on to the next thing, and that's kind of book lighting. Uh, we'll kind of go over uh, book lighting. Uh, we'll, we'll talk about it here. We'll jump to the Blackmagic footage, and then uh, we'll come back and maybe talk about it in a little bit more detail. Okay, so hopefully that helped out. Sorry, I kind of spaced on doing the vlogging bit for uh, the other scene with Tyler, kind of doing the, the shots facing that way. But um, yeah, kind of just spaced on that. But uh, hopefully that little explanation helped. Uh, but this is kind of the focus of the video is what we're going to talk about right now. And that is a kind of a, a makeshift book lighting setup. And it's just kind of go over book lighting a little bit, but uh, just kind of show that how, you know, I've kind of pretty much done this on a budget relative to... Uh, what you would see on like a bigger movie set or you know when you hire like a professional gaffer or something like that So let's walk around and we'll kind of uh, take a look at it from the other side Okay, so here we are on the other side and uh, what we've got is this little book lighting setup and uh, if you don't know what book lighting is uh, Essentially, it's like think of uh, it's two diffusion So you're bouncing off of one material and then you're sending that bounce into diffusion and that creates a super, super soft light source. And the reason why I'm calling this kind of like a poor man's or a budget uh, book lighting setup is because um, uh, of a couple things, the lights that I've got going on and the size of the diffusion and all that kind of stuff. So uh, what I've got is I have two lights, the 120D Mark II and the Godox SL60W, uh, because with book lighting, because you're bouncing light and then diffusing it again, you need a lot of output. So um, that's why something like a Joker 800 or something like that, or like a 300D Mark II, something like that, where you can just send a lot of output onto the bounce really helps. So that's kind of why I've got double duty right here. And what it's doing is I just have a little curtain overhanging, uh, on the C stand, just draped over, just kind of like waterfall, waterfall style. And what that's doing is I'm sending this light into this little curtain, just a blackout curtain, just white. And then it's going into this diffusion panel right here. And this is just in from a 5-in-1 reflector uh, that you can get off Amazon or whatever for a, 20 bucks or whatever. And then what I've done, because I had at my disposal, I added more diffusion. So these are the, both the diffusion materials from the 120D Mark II. And then I just put the grid on here just to kind of help with light leak and all that kind of stuff. Um, because it's book light, I'm not really sure if that's doing a whole lot, but it is definitely helping uh, prevent um, more spill back here. Uh, so that's what I got going on. And then uh, to help kind of enhance the effect of book lighting of really soft light, I got myself super close to 
the light source to just even diffuse that or make that light seem even softer. And when I go wider, the shadows are definitely going to look uh, a little bit harsher and the roll off, the highlight roll off or the, the shadow roll off, whatever you want to call it, is not going to be uh, as smooth because uh, as you know, you get further away from a light source, the harder shadows are going to get. So to kind of, you know, mimic a really big light source, I just got as close as I could to this light source just to help uh, kind of create a softer light, if that makes sense. And normally you wouldn't have to do that uh, because, you know, with normal, like, you know, like higher budget book lighting setups, you basically, you would have like a, you know, a six by or an eight by uh, diffusion on, you know, and the same with the bounce and a bunch more output. And what that does is just creates a giant light source and the bigger the light source, the more the diffusion. So that's kind of the idea. But since I didn't have that, I kind of mimicked that by bringing myself closer to it to help diffuse that light a little bit or not diffuse it, but kind of give the effect of uh, a, a softer light source. So um, yeah, that's kind of the, the thinking behind that. And I think it turned out pretty cool. Uh, so yeah, and the reason why I call this a budget lighting setup or a budget book lighting setup is because uh, relatively speaking, you know, you'd have much more expensive lights um, and that have a much more higher output. Um, and then you'd, you know, you'd actually have like, you know, magic cloth or some kind of ultra bounce or something like that. So uh, anyways, that's pretty much all I wanted to say about that. But uh, I wanted to give book lighting a try. I've never really done uh, any sort of book lighting setup. And yeah, just wanted to give it a try and see how it looked. Okay, and now to follow up, I'm gonna close this thing out uh, and, and like if any kind of clarification or anything, uh, we'll talk a little bit more about book light. So book light, essentially, kind of what I explained is it's a way to get super, super soft light, even more so than you can get uh, usually with uh, just a soft box because you're kind of doing a double diffusion, double way of softening the light. And we'll kind of explain that with a, a book. And so the book light, kind of the way it's set up, it looks like a book when you open it. So right here we've got, uh, yeah, we've got a bounce and a fusion. That's, we'll call it that, right? So essentially when you open a, a book and it's kind of at an angle like this, that's kind of the why it's called book lighting. And so what you're doing essentially is you're, you're sending light, uh, you're bouncing light off of a bounce and typically, um, you know, like non-budget, you'd be using like ultra bounce, like magic cloth or, or something that uh, just will, re will reflect the light. And then you send it through a, a sheet of diffusion, whether it's like a light grid or, um, you know, some like an unbleached muslin. Um, there's a bunch of different ways to just kind of achieves different looks. Um, and that's what you're doing. You're sending light into a bounce and then you're bouncing that light into diffusion, which kind of creates double duty uh, softening. Um, and the reason why uh, you the reason why you got to have so much output is because you're doing that. You're sent, you're diffusing the light basically twice. So, um, with that being said, I don't think I mentioned this in the video, but um, you know, be, because because there's just light going everywhere, you got to contain a little bit more. Um, this is why uh, book lighting can be good for like more confined spaces, but you usually need to have a little bit more equipment, like floppies and stuff like that, to kind of uh, flag the light from spilling on and all that kind of stuff. Um, but if you angle it right and stuff like that, then you can get a super soft light source. Now. Uh, typically with like book lighting, you're going to have um, pretty big uh, diffusion and balance panels like six buys or eight buys or like 12 buys or something like that. Uh, in my case, I didn't have that. I had uh, the, the 501 reflector uh, and then um, I, I had a, a, a white curtain. Um, so I just used the C stands to kind of create that, that open book look. And uh, it, because the, 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 the source, the light source was, was smaller, I just kind of moved myself closer to that light source to just kind of give the effect of softer light. And so you can see on the tighter shots, you know, the, the light is super soft and the fall off is, is very, very gradual. Um, and it, it really, there's no like harsh shadows or anything. And then on the wider shots, you can definitely see there's much more uh, shadow fall off uh, much quicker. Uh, and that's just because I'm further away from the light source. Uh, so yeah, that's that's pretty much it. Um, so if you have any uh, questions or, or want to leave a comment or anything down below, uh, definitely do so. Um, I, I would love to to hear your opinions on how these uh, shots turned out. Uh, don't don't hate on the acting. <laughs> I'm definitely not an actor. Tyler's pretty good. He's actually a pretty good actor, but I'm not. I I, I don't I don't act. But it's super fun doing these kind of things. Uh, I had a lot of fun. Uh, filming this and, and editing it and all that kind of stuff. It's just it's just fun. I had, I had a really good time doing it. Um, 
And it's a really good learning experience. You know, I learned a lot uh, about book lighting, and uh, I, I learned that, you know, you can you can get away with uh, using uh, budget equipment to get pretty awesome results um, with regards to lighting and stuff like that. And I'm really glad that I kind of used this uh, used this scene as a way to experiment with book lighting, and I'm really excited how it turned out. I think it looked pretty cool. Uh, but yeah, if you found this helpful, informative, or anything like that, definitely give it a thumbs up. Maybe hit or hit that subscribe button and that notification bell next to it because I plan on doing more of these types of videos in the future. And then, um, yeah, thumbs up, share it, all that good stuff. Say hi in the comments. Um, yeah. If you don't have anything else to add to like this discussion or anything, uh, let me know down in the comments below like what your favorite lighting technique is uh, to, to get soft light. Let me know down in the comments below. As always, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed that, and I hope to see you in the next video. Peace.